If we got any feedback or advice, let me know. The stuff that I got at Target today. Tell me look. Look at the kitty. It's a kitty. Hey guys, happy, what is today? Today's Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Um, 2.30 in the afternoon, overcast skies, 42 degrees. There's your update on weather for the day. <laughs> icky, 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 I hate this. Uh, I need about, uh, call it 20 more degrees and then I'm a happy camper, so. Anyways, uh, the plan for the day, uh, got some work done in the morning. We uh, signed our documents for the uh, the loan, so that's in process for the uh, for the new uh, property that we're uh, in process of working on right now. I'm stuck behind a school bus here. Anyways, uh, the plan is for today um, inspection. I have inspection at three o'clock. They're gonna go through and check everything out and let me know if I'm getting something that's uh, pretty good. Hopefully everything checks out. So we're doing that. Um, got some key work to do, making copies. Making copies, I don't know if you guys remember that. I think that's a Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live, making copies. I'll have to look that up. I can't believe that's stuck in my brain all these years. Anyways, uh, just kinda taking care of some house stuff on the, uh, the new property and I think I'm pretty caught up. My checklist is, is complete. Uh, for the rest of the week though, I have, um, I think I have four four companies coming out to give me estimates on windows so we'll see how those turn out and if i hire someone or i just do them myself so i i figured i'd get four quotes interesting though interesting uh like i said i think i told you guys this before this is a friend of mine's uh house so she's been so kindly oh that's, that's a fake deer i thought it was a real deer anyways um so kindly letting me uh, have access to the house so that I can get some of these quotes and stuff done so that once we take possession, I'm like literally scheduled and ready to go. Because the sooner we get these uh, remodel projects done and the sooner I can, you know, obviously do something with it. So I would love once I took possession to have everything kind of scheduled, ready to go, materials and bang, bang, bang. That would be the, uh, the ideal. What do they call that uh, show? Sell it, flip it, whatever. We're not flipping though, so just a remodel job, which I'm sure we'll film, fill, fill you guys in on. Exciting, um, you know, the stress level's been up and down, but I, I think we're all right. Oh, and just for, for clarification, if you didn't know, uh, we posted a video the other day about uh, uh, getting a new house. It's it's not it's not our house. This is just a investment property that we're getting. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, go watch that video, and I think there's a second video too, so. But no tours yet. Can't give tours until I have complete ownership. Yeah, it's so big. Where, see, this is where Alexis got hers from, but it seems that Oh, look the, at that little fish. There was female beta fish in here, but they're all gone. But look, here's what I'm talking about. Um, look at these snails. You want a snail? Yeah, they're kind of cute. Look oh, look movement. at how little those are. Those are little baby snails. What, the fish? No, look at it, it's on the glass. Oh, I thought you were pointing to the fish. Oh, oh my God. He's so scared. They're the babies. But look. We got the babies with us. I need to find them. They're shrimp. Oh, look at that teeny tiny fish. It's a shrimp. No, that, oh, that's a shrimp. That's a shrimp? Holy cow, you can barely see it. Exactly. You don't see that huge yeah, one? they're clear. That's a shrimp. Okay, I don't know, can you see them? Yeah, I guess you can. Toby's so scared. Okay, there's some, oh, there's one in here too. That's gross, why would you want one of those? They're cool. But what do they eat? Do you have to feed them fish food? Oh, they're those cute. Are they are? These are. Wow, oh yeah. The, wow, they're ones. little. No one, I mean, they're big, but no they're. No one really gets these fish, unless you have a giant tank. Yeah. You guys wanna pick out some toys? Oh, I want to get some new toys. He's so scared. Look at Look at Toby. Toby, look. Look at the kitty. Toby. It's a kitty. Look. He does not care right now. Yeah. All right, so we found, yeah, so we found this new bed for Dex and Tucker. If you guys remember, we got a bigger bed 
for our Dude, bedroom, but only one of them here. got a bigger bed. So now we found another real big one to put in our bedroom. Cause they literally like, not these two, Dex and Tucker, by the way, if you, you're probably like, what do you mean? <laughs> it needs to be bigger. You're being bad. Just go back in. How about this? They would rip the shreds. <laughs> Dex and Tucker would love this though. These were the ones that I was talking about for Dex and Tucker, oh, supposedly. This? Yeah, basically. Because it has this black stuff on the edge and supposedly they well, can't rip through it. These were the ones right here. What about a bunny? Here. These right here. Supposedly these Look. can't be chewed through. Crab. Yeah. I like this one. I feel like this has stuffing in it though, so they're gonna try to rip it open. French fries. And then the avocado. What about the pig? Ooh, it's really hard. Pig's hard. Mom. What are you doing, Toby? He wants you. Look at. Look, he's panting. <laughs> all right, we are home okay. with all of the new toys. Forever. Whoa! <laughs> Not yet. You're messing with scissors. <laughs> what should they get first? How about fries? There's your fries. And Tucker, you can have an avocado. <laughs> and. Just look at Shaggy. I feel like he's gonna take any. Give him one of those and see what he does. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, you gotta get the bone to Pippa. She doesn't take this. Let's give it to her. She can't even hold it. <laughs> <Don't be. laughs> okay, there's more. He's trying to show it off to everybody. Toby took that bone and hit it. So this green thing that Dax has, you're actually supposed to tear apart and, and there's, there's something, something inside. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy that you're encouraging them to rip a toy open. Well, they will by probably the end of today if Tucker gets his hands on it. Tucker's attached to this pig. He's giving it to me. Tucker, be nice. Tucker. You can share your toys. Tucker! <laughs> He's like, it's couch. too big. Put it up on the couch for him. So ever since like last week, when we started all this house stuff, which what day did we go look at the house? Was it Thursday? Yeah, I think it was Thursday because Friday was the day we put in the offer. So ever since that day, I don't know if it's just coincidence or because I started my period on Friday or what the situation was, but I have literally had a headache. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today's Tuesday, six days in a row. And last night it was just so, it's it's like a dull headache that it's mostly right here and then it just kind of expands out. Like last night when I went to bed, I was putting like ice pack on my forehead. I just really feel like the coldness helps my headache and I had taken Advil and everything, just waiting for it to like go away so I could go to sleep. Can't read books, barely even enjoy watching TV because it's just, I just want to rest my eyes. So I don't know if it's just stress with everything going on, but I don't feel stressed today. Like I feel good about everything, but it's still a lot of like extra things to deal with and think about. Like we were just finally, like we locked in our rate for our loan and stuff today. So it could be it, but could it also be maybe my eyesight? Maybe I need to go get my eyes checked or maybe it's even hormonal. It's just really weird. I mean, my periods are still very regular, even though I'm gonna be 50 this September and I want to get through menopause and be like done with it, but I don't, I haven't even, I don't even have signs of it other than sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night really warm and I'll like kick the covers off, but not like, not like sweaty warm. Like usually when women will say they're going through these like hot flashes, they get really, really hot. So I don't know, like if anyone has gone through this, give me any tips below. Did you experience headaches? Like, I think I have a doctor appointment coming up. Hmm. I don't know what month it is. I know I don't go back into my like primary care physician until September, because that was when I went to see her last year. Like, so it's just my yearly physical, but I have like my gynecologist appointment. I don't know if it's March or April. Maybe it's April. Anyways, 
So I probably, I'm not gonna be able to get in any sooner unless like I really start having a bad problem. But like I woke up this morning, I didn't have a headache, sat down at my computer, and within two hours, that same dull headache. So is it like staring at my computer screen? Cause I worked on taxes all day yesterday. Like I, I don't know. And I know I'm, I talked about it on my Instagram and people are like, oh, you should go see the doctor. Like, I don't wanna jump the gun. I mean, it's not abnormal to get headaches, especially if like, you know all the questions that my doctor's gonna ask. Are you under any stress? And I'd be like, well, sort of. And then she's gonna be like, take Advil, you know what I mean? They're not gonna be like, oh, let's go do an MRI because you had a headache five days in a row or six days in a row. So I don't wanna jump the gun, but at the same time, I'm wondering more along the lines of like menopause headaches. What is, what is that like? Fill me in. Are, there, are they these kind of headaches just like right here, like a tension headache? Or is it more of like a migraine, which is like a migraine to me is like everywhere at the top of your head, like, you know, I don't know. If you got any feedback or advice, let me know. I'll keep you guys posted on the headache situation. <laughs> Out here golfing with Blake, a couple of his bros. It's about 40 degrees, sunny, still cold. So we're trying to hit some uh, hit some irons and hit some irons. Hit some irons. So that that's beautiful. beautiful. Yep. Not good enough. And that's a home run. Son of a oh. 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 <laughs> the pace. Oh, you. So I'm home from golf with uh, Blake and his two buddies. We won today. We played a uh, scrambles. We beat them by three strokes. So good time. A little cold. It's about 40 degrees. I'm um, sunny, but uh, it was cold, so I'm a little whooped. I haven't golfed in obviously a year, but uh, here we are, and uh, now I am cooking dinner. Blake's coming over. I'm going to make some kibasa, um, some some potatoes and corn. So not a healthy dinner, but a good dinner for Blake. He said he was starving. So hey everybody, before I go to bed really quickly, I just want to show you the stuff that I got at Target today. I wasn't even supposed to go and spend money, but of course I did. First up, I just got, it's called the Succulent Garden or something like that, but it came in this really cute white pot, and it has one, two, three, four different succulents, and it's so cute. Here's my other succulents, by the way. This one I've had for so long, and it was in pure darkness forever. And it has some dead leaves on the bottom, but it appears it's still doing well. This one's doing pretty good. Oh, you can't really see. This one is doing pretty good. My cactus is doing well. This one is kind of on its last leg, which kind of makes me sad. But I keep my curtains closed a lot, and obviously plants eat sunlight, and that's my fault. But, um... Yeah, this one's about to go, and like, bruh, look at all the dead leaves. There's really no leaves left on it. But for my new plants, they're going to stay alive, so. And then, here's my bookshelf. I originally had two stacks, but they weren't all fitting, so now I have three, which is kind of exciting, kind of bad. I have my book right there that I want to start reading here pretty soon when I have the time. But I got four new books today. I got They Both Die at the End. I've heard about it a lot. There's Someone Inside Your House, 14 Ways to Die. And I got Good Girl, Bad Blood, which is the second book to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I would have all three of the books, but I wasn't going to buy the second or third because they only had them in hardcover. And I hate hardcover books because, look, at they're so big and bulky and then they hang out and I, I just don't like reading them. But they finally came out with the second book in a paperback, so I'm just going to wait until the third one comes out, but I'm so glad I found this one in paperback. Like, that's crazy. But waiting for the third one, and honestly, I want this whole bookshelf to be filled with books 
So I'm obviously going to keep expanding my collection for sure. I just wanted to give you guys a little haul before I went to bed. It is almost like 1.30 in the morning right now. And I got home probably like an hour and a half ago. And I've just been talking to my parents, talking on the phone, doing the usual. And I was supposed to edit my video. And I was going to. And I'm still considering it. But I'm so tired right now. That I don't even know if I can do it. But I have dance tomorrow. And I have dance the next day. Which is fine. But whenever I have dance, I feel like I can't do anything for the rest of the day. So that's upsetting because I had a few things I wanted to do tomorrow and now I don't even know if I can do them because I have dance. And I can't do them Thursday because Thursday I have tests to take and I have dance again. And obviously I'm not going to have any motivation to go do anything then. And Friday, I mean I guess I could do some of the stuff Friday, but this Saturday we're going to the Billie Eilish concert. So I kind of wanted to go to the mall and like get a cute outfit to wear. If I have time to do that, which as of right now, I feel like I don't, but I still have tomorrow and we'll see what happens. But if I'm trying to make plans tomorrow, I need to go to bed right now so I get enough sleep, which I'll probably still wake up really late anyways, but I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to try to at least. I'm going to watch some dance moms on my TV and yeah, that's about it. I wanted to show you guys that the pups... Not the pups, but the Goldens. Tore it apart, and this is what was inside. It looks like a little doctor. And they already chewed the feet off, so. <laughs> kind of crazy. What is that? What is that, Dax? Did you put a hole in the apple and you got the doctor out? Did you get the doctor? I will link this down below, though. This is from Amazon, and honestly, any other ball that we've ever bought the dogs, they always pop and put a hole in it. And so far, they haven't popped this one. They carry it around by the little straps. Get your ball. You got your ball? Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that? 